Hi, my name is Janke Breslink. I'm an MD and I'm Chair of EOCOP, the Foundation for Innovative Research in Complementary Medicine. I would like to tell you something about a very interesting example of complementary medicine. The use of an Ayurvedic herb, Boswellia, for the treatment of diseases like rheuma, colitis ulcerosa, and, above all, edema in the brain due to breast cancer. Many people think that herbal medicines are just weak-acting drugs. This is not the case. For instance, Boswellia is um, also called incense. Basically, Boswellia is the base of incense. It is um, fluid excreted by the tree, and from this fluid, incense can be made. But also, it can be prepared for a drug which you can use for treating diseases which are characterized by inflammation. In the resin of Boswellia, we find various compounds which inhibit inflammatory responses in the body. Thus, this drug, which has been described by Ayurvedic doctors for many, many hundreds of years ago already, in classical texts, this plant and the drug from this plant can be used to treat inflammatory disorders. There are many trials done already on the field of colitis ulcerosa, so inflammatory bowel disorders, but the most interesting thing is that it has been researched as a drug which can be used for inflammation in the brain caused by metastasis from the breast to the brain. Normally we treat this with classical steroids, but, but Boswellia can be used also. So, in this case we see that an old Ayurvedic medicine is as powerful as the most modern steroids we have in our hands to treat edema in the brain due to metastasis of cancer. Thank you very much.